Hi, my name is Dave Ferguson. I'm the lead pastor at Community Christian Church in Chicago. I'm also the visionary for New Thing, an international church planning network, and I'm the president of the Exponential Conference. I want to tell you about something I'm really excited about called Living Undivided. 2020, of course, was a crazy year for a lot of us. And in the middle of it uh, was the George Floyd murder. And coming out of that, I got involved in a lot of things. But one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to move my church to a new place of understanding about racial reconciliation and racial solidarity. I got to know uh, Chuck Mingo for a long time. I've known Troy Jackson. And they started this thing called Living Undivided. And what it is, it's a cohort that takes people through a six weeks where you get to really learn things that maybe you never would have learned before, really from world-class experts. But you also get to experience this kind of community building with the people in your cohort. But the third thing that's really important is the storytelling. The, stel the, the telling of stories back and forth from your own experience. And what that did for, for me and for that cohort and that group of people in our church was moved us to a brand new place of understanding and learning. Uh, we plan on continuing to do that. And I highly recommend uh, Living Undivided to you. When I think about why Living Undivided is really important, um, I come right back to the gospel. My understanding of the gospel is that Jesus is king and that he has a kingdom. And his kingdom doesn't look just like me, it doesn't look just like someone else, but it looks like a diversity of people all coming together worshiping him. In fact, that's exactly what's described in Revelation 7 9 when it talks about every tongue, tribe, and nation. And so living and divided actually moves us closer to God's dream for that. But then in addition to that, maybe way down the list, is it's also really important if your church is gonna be relevant. Uh, I had the privilege of writing a Harvard Business Review article with a few friends around the topic of justice deposits. And justice deposits is encouraging churches to uh, open up accounts in black-owned banks. But one of the things we discovered in writing that article was that for the age group of 40 and under, if you wanna be relevant, whether it's in business or in church, if you wanna have a listening, if you want them to participate, they're looking okay, for businesses and for churches that are actually supporting these kinds of efforts. So for me, what really convicts me, of course, this is a part of the gospel. But what also then encouraged me is this is how we're gonna be relevant both today and tomorrow. If you're like me, you're probably looking for a first step, a first step, kind of a courageous step into this work. And it's tough because there's so much you don't know. And there's so much you don't know about what you don't know. But my experience has been by grabbing the hands of those that Living and Divided, they will actually take you through this work together. Uh, they'll coach you, they'll um, guide you, they'll give you a new understanding. And the cohort that I went through was a wonderful experience for me, and we plan on continuing to repeat that over and over again in the life of the community. We feel like that's part of how we're gonna change the culture at community. And, and my hunch is they could do exactly the same thing for you.